Hey there, it's Daniel Priestley. In the previous videos, we talked about having a concept, getting some uh, categories and creating some questions. And what you would have done at this point is you would have set up a scorecard with some questions and uh, categories in the scoring logic. And if you're struggling with any of that, there are some other videos that are very much tactical and practical, how to use the software, how to set it up, how to really get in there and kind of you know, do all the fiddly bits with the software. So we've made those separate videos. You can pause them and go through them nice and slowly if that's helpful. I'm going through a little bit more strategic ideas. Let's get into the next part, which is the results page. So after people have filled in their questions, they're going to arrive at the results page where they're going to start to get some immediate insights based on how they scored. So it's a really kind of moment of a reveal where they've answered 30 or 40 questions and now they're gonna have a, a reveal as to how they scored. So what you wanna do is create some content that relates to whether people scored high, medium or low. Essentially, you wanna ask yourself the question, what would you say to someone? What advice would you give to someone? What tips would you give them based upon a high, a low or a medium score? So let's imagine that someone scored low for one of the categories. You might say, it looks like you've got some work to do. Here's three tips to get started. If someone scored a medium, you might say, you've got some strong foundations in place, but there's room to improve. And here's a video designed for taking your score up a level. And if someone scored really high, you might say, well done. Uh, you're doing really well in this area and it's important to keep up the good work to fine tune your results and to do some advanced things. So you want to consider what kind of advice you would give to people at the high, medium and low scoring range. Now, the way the software works is that we can actually tell the software what is a high, a medium or a low score. So uh, when you go into the results settings, it's going to ask you, what tiers do you want to, uh, what scoring tiers do you want to set up? So it'll have some defaults, like it might say low is anything under 33%. It might say medium is 34 to 66 and high is 67 plus, but you could make high scoring 90% plus or high scoring 50% plus, right? Depends on how you want to define it. Um, so you can change those numbers around, but basically that will tell the system which piece of content to show based on how people uh, scored. So when you go into the results pages, you'll have the opportunity to create something called dynamic content. And dynamic content is the content that dynamically appears based upon how people scored. So for example, in here, uh, if someone scored 59% and that was medium, you would actually have the dynamic content there, which is your advice for someone who got an overall score of 59%. And you can actually do this with the categories as well. So if someone scored really well for marketing, but really badly for operations, you can have congratulations, well done for being great at marketing and your operations need to improve in order to get a better score here. And here's some tips. So you can really get into creating some dynamic uh, content. Now that's going to position you as that expert or that advisor straight away. People are going to immediately see you as someone who has uh, advice for them, who can help them get closer to their goal. And because the entire scorecard concept is set around a desired outcome, it means that people are automatically gonna wanna talk to you because you're the person who can help them get that desired outcome better, cheaper, faster, or with more emotional benefits. So I hope that's helpful. Put a lot of thought into the dynamic content that you want to appear when someone finishes your scorecard and arrives at the results page.